game on. It's game on. We are, we are, we are big, 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 big on sports. Big on sports. Welcome back from that break. In case you're just joining us, you're still watching Game On Fun Friday. I want to say many thanks for your company. Do remember, guys, COVID-19 is still real. The fight against the pandemic is still ongoing. Let's all continue to follow all the guidelines that have been put in place by the Ministry of Health. So stay home, get to stay safe. The only way you can protect yourself and your loved ones is if you continue to stay safe. But on the show this afternoon, we are joined by the Secretary General from the National Council of Sports, that is Dr. Patrick Bernard Oguela. In case you've got any questions for him, Keep them coming. I already have a couple of reactions, especially on Twitter. That is at Urban Television, Urban TV Uganda. Facebook is Urban Television. And uh, 0414337. Uh, that is uh, uh, 0414337872. I can feel free and uh, give us that call. We'll be opening up the phone lines a little later on. But in the first segment, he touched a bit on allocation of funds and uh, how prioritization has been the key aspect when it comes to distribution of funds across the 48 uh, sports federations that we've got in the country. And um, quickly, uh, Dr. Alia, this week there was an online meeting as well, uh, chaired by the chairman, NCS. So many issues were addressed. Can you take us through some of the key issues that were discussed? Yes. Uh, well, the online meeting was... Uh a meeting organized by the Secretariat in consultation with the, the Council. Mm. Arising out of the lockdown, we felt we are obliged to inform our stakeholders on what is going on. Right. Also to understand the, the issues in our subsector. And you know our biggest stakeholders are the National Sports Federation. Yes. So we arranged online meeting as mm. authorized by government. The government, through a circular, mm. authorized uh, public officers and offices to use Zoom conferencing yes. as a medium mm. in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in the in the circumstance. So this meeting was uh, arranged to, to in line with uh, our mandate to work in consultation with the uh, National Sports Federation mm. presidents and general secretaries. Mm. It was guided by the chair of council, Dr. Mm. Donald Okare, yes, and also the minister, honourable minister of state for sports, mm. and members of council. We also have had a number of observers, media, and other well-wishers. Mm. Uh, the key issues was anchored on one, what is council doing for sports in the circumstance? Mm. What are the issues? Are we going to be able to support federation activities or maybe s uh, provide some funding? As you're aware, this thing came in the middle when we are at the 11th hour mm. of uh, qualifying our athletes, national athletes, for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Which has been a priority since it's an Olympic year. Yeah, mm. Olympic year. Mm. So, as a government, we put all our attention on this. But mm. unfortunately, just when we're about to conclude with the boxing in France in May, the lockdown issue came in. Yes. So, certainly, the hanging questions, which mm. we were not able to share with National Sports Federation mm. on the way forward, mm. the issue of athletes who have qualified, we have 17 athletes, how do we help them in the interim period to, 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 to prepare as we wait for July, August next year? Mm. Council should be able to give that, that guidance. So definitely, it was an update, an update sort of meeting mm. with our uh, stakeholders, but also we able to get some policy direction from the Honorable Minister, from Council, respectively. Mm. The key issues of funding, for example, we were able to inform them that at the moment, uh, government has prioritized uh, uh, funding to only key areas, which has been mentioned in a circular from the Minister of Finance, Plan and Economic Development, to detail uh, requiring that we, uh, the government will only give attention to salaries and wages of staff, gratuity, mm. pensions, and also support sectors that are directly in the forefront of the pandemic as in terms of uh, intervention, yes. Ministry of Health, uh, Ministry of uh, Defense, uh, mm. Security, and the rest and the rest. So in that, it means that any funding which was planned for our subsector mm. could not now come through. So even, as, even as I talk now, mm. the money is not available. Mm. But of course, we have been required after a meeting with our permanent secretary, the Minister of Education and Sports, of course, was chaired by the Honorable Minister of State for Sports. Mm guided that we present our case for this period 
how do we operate? So we put our request, which mm. request is still waiting a response okay. to, to the ministry. So we think when this comes, possibly we'll be able to give some component mm. of support okay. to federations mm. for the period okay. of pandemic, which will be basically operational, mm. administrative, but not mm. supporting sports activities because everything on, on, on the stage. Okay. Doctor, uh, update on funding for the federations that is out. Anything else? Some of the other key things that you touched on? The other key thing is, of course, the, the budget adjustments to council. You note that uh, the budget committee of parliament adjusted our budget. In other words, eight billion has been reallocated to other areas. So that become a, a very difficult uh, position uh, thing for us as council, because you know, sports like any other uh, activity mm. or uh, subsector, we have been crying for money. Right. We have always said that our <coughs> expected ideal budget for a financial year like this one is mm. at around 196 billion. Wow. So when you give me 25 billion, that's about six, seven. And then again, we move 8 billion. Mm. Definitely, you are leaving me with the 17. Again, as the long list of priorities of council, of federation, and of course, uh, the action plan, mm. which we have already drawn, mm. only waiting for implementation, mm. you have already distorted the whole thing. And allow me here to say that the, 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 the reason why I would wish to, to, to take note of this is that the impact of the reallocation is very, very, very deep to us. One, you note that the, 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 the system we are running today has defined the way we are delivering sport. Mm. as council. We now have federations of prevention list. The activities are there and the games have been rescheduled. That means the games will take place anyway. Mm. But even before, if you say games start in July, the training must start around June okay. if government leaves up the, mm. the lockdown. Mm. So we are saying here basically that the, the changing of the level of sports has changed because of the improvement in the funding. That now we know how we are going to proceed in our calendar of a year for our games. And we are saying here, we need to be consistent in facilitating sports programs. Okay. The sports delivery must be anchored on continuous uh, human development, increased access to opportunities, skills development. Uh, uh, we are talking about empowerment of athletes, opportunity that can enhance and facilitate a coordinated preparation and mm. presentation of our players okay. for the national games. So this will be distorted. Mm. Why am I saying? It means out of the eight federations, mm. possibly we are going to do away with the issue of subvention. Wow. Because we must pull down the money in one pool, maybe apart from FIFA, yes. which has a special directive. Okay. But the rest, so that means each, uh, each, each of these federations mm. may share uh, very little amount of money, not what we had already planned with them mm. going forward. So for football, will they take the 10 billion altogether? I am not going to enter into that argument because we are yes. looking forward for guidance okay. from the ministry now. Okay. We have, have we had a meeting with the permanent secretary. Yeah. We are looking forward for them to guide the council mm. because council, as per the act, they are supposed to do the approval. Even when parliament has done appropriation, they must consider it in their own budget framework and approve before we cross the next financial year. Oh. So I'm seeking for that guidance mm. that the council should be able to readjust this budget framework. Mm. I'm not going to say full form and a bit cut, but that is the hard advice that I'm looking forward. Okay. Because whatever we do mm. must be within the law of okay. this country. There you go. That but it has a big impact, yeah. which I don't want you to forget about. Okay. It will not be business as usual. All right. There you go. That is Dr. Patrick Bernard Dauguel. We're still talking uh, funding. When you come back after the break, the conversation should be switching to facilities. And uh, certainly so many question marks being raised about the set of facilities in the country, what is being done by NCS to improve some of these or even protect those that we already have in place. And if anything, how well are some of our facilities being taken care of? Because we all know facilities play a very key aspect, especially if we are going to groom so many different sportsmen and get the best out of them. So when you come back, that and so much more. Keep the feedback going. Aban Television, Facebook at Aban TV, Uganda, 0414, uh, you know, 337872. So when you come back, the conversation continues. You are still watching Game On, and it's Fun Friday. Game On. It's Game On. We are, we are, we are big, 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 big on sports.
big on sports.